Day two of Car Magazine's 2019 SUV shootout. We're still in Agalas, and today we're going to focus on the premium midsize uh, SUVs. So we've got five of our favorite examples here. Uh, we'll go through them quickly. We've got the GLC Mercedes-Benz, uh, very classy, a little bit dated uh, in this company, um, but still always a classy option and popular in South Africa. Very popular um, for the car magazine team in, in any way cases, the Audi Q5. Um, very sophisticated, lovely interior. Um, this is the two liter turbo diesel. Um, this is an interesting uh, uh, inclusion. It's the Tiguan. So the Tiguan, you can obviously start um, at around the 550,000 mark, but you can easily spec it uh, higher to get it more premium feel. Uh, and we think in this guise, essentially, it can actually easily hold its own among these rivals. Made in South Africa, uh, the newest car here is the BMW X3, very popular in South African market, um, two liter turbo diesel, um, yeah, speaks for itself. And one of our favorite new models, Vol uh, Volvo's XC60, very classy. It's the most expensive car here, but it actually also feels like uh, you've spent your money wisely. Now you may not believe it, but the GLC is actually the oldest car of the mid-size uh, rivals here today. It's underpinned by the same platform as C-Class, albeit with a few modifications for its uh, SUV application. And it features a 2.1 litre turbo diesel engine, which makes it feel quite brisk. On the road, the GLC feels fantastic. It's very composed, very car-like to drive. Get onto rutted roads, however, and things begin to go a little bit awry. The, uh, the steel sprung suspension is not the most forgiving. We had a bit of criticism of Mercedes interiors in the past, often owing to the creativity that uh, Mercedes utilizes. There's a lot of different patinas and plastics and materials going on, so there's a tendency for rattles to emerge. That said, strong engine, plenty of curb appeal. It's going to be a tough one to beat. What's one of the highlights of the Volvo for me, this XC60, is how Volvo took the base bits from the XC90, the design, the interior, and it filtered through to the XC60. It's visible, especially on the inside, lovely interior, the portrait screen, it is surely one of the highlights. In terms of ride quality, it's really refined. We're now on a relatively bumpy gravel road, but it's quiet, oops, it's quiet, it's refined, there's not a lot of rattles, or any rattles actually. It's got the most powerful engine here, in terms of power. 173 kilowatts from this two liter turbo diesel four cylinder engine. But overall, the quality, the ride comfort, the seats is a very, very impressive car. For me, the Q5 um, probably is top two for me in this SUV shooter. Um, styling aside, um, the interior is really well put together. Um, even though the Q5 has been out for uh, a little while now and there are newer entertainment technologies coming around, touchscreen in this for example, the Q5's interior still looks fresh. You can get it with a virtual cockpit which um, adds a little bit of sophistication. Um, yeah, solid package. It also feels like the right size for the segment. So it's not too compact. You've got a lot of space, a lot of rear leg room, a lot of boot space. Um, yeah, really classy product um, and I think probably finds in this company, the nicest balance between dynamic and comfort, um, able to do both easily, whereas something like the BMW, a little bit more dynamic, and something like the Volvo feels really sophisticated, but maybe doesn't, maybe shies away from the dynamic stuff. So yeah, a really good product, solid product, um, and I think um, the Q5 could easily take the win here. I'm in the Volkswagen Tiguan TDI. It has a two liter engine and four wheel drive. Now, as you can hear on the gravel road, 
it's actually rather crashy but that's because this has an R-line package fitted it adds quite a bit to the price and you get 20 inch wheels with it it's the cheapest of the lineup we've got here at under 600,000 with the extras on this car it takes it up by another 100,000 or so but uh, to me this is absolutely fine seven speed dual clutch gearbox is lovely and you've got paddle shifts if you want to have a bit of fun and you can see now on a smoother road this is like a cobbled road the car actually rides very nicely and of course the Volkswagen interior is um, it's pretty much as, as good as it gets so all in all a great package and I think it's probably going to turn out quite well in this lineup So I'm in the proudly South African bold BMW X3 and this is the X20D which means it's fitted with that familiar 2 litre turbo diesel engine that delivers 140 kilowatt and 400 newton meters. So where does this X3 fit into the group test we've got here today? Well, I would say it's the most dynamic of the group. So from a handling point of view, the feeling you get behind the steering wheel it likes corners. Even though it's a SUV, there's still some driving pleasure to be had in the BMW X3. Where it falls short, maybe in comfort level, some of the others are more comfortable, but you can't have both comfort and sporty behavior. So that's one thing. The other thing is that the infotainment center, even though everything is there, it's a bit small compared to some of the competitors like your Volvo XC60. So for 710,000 rands, it's sort of midway priced in the group but I think if you like driving, if you like dynamic ability, if you like the brand you will not be disappointed with BMW's X320D. So that's a wrap on 2019 Car Magazine SUV Shootout. We've had a really cool time, uh, we finished up in Franschhoek. Now to put things together, look out for the May issue of Car Magazine.